as we start a really exciting journey to Choban Rondo Waterfall in Indonesia, we'll also be diving into a delightful exploration of Japanese cuisine right here in Indonesia. But that's not all. Get ready for a delectable culinary adventure and feast your eyes on the stunning beauty of Choban Rondo. This is an adventure you don't want to miss. This is what I like about Kota Batu. We can actually drink fresh milk every morning. This is our go-to place to buy fresh milk. Roma Susu Kud Batu. This is STMJ, or in English it's STMJ. It includes milk, ginger, honey, and egg, which most Indonesian people drink to increase their stamina, and it actually tastes pretty good. because having fresh milk with all those ingredients makes a great combination. The ginger adds a kick, the honey adds sweetness, and the egg adds more protein to the mix. Now we are ready to go to Choban Rondo. The view feels like we are in a jungle. The weather here is colder than Jakarta, but it feels more fresh. This is Choban Rondo. This waterfall has been here for a very long time. My wife actually spent some of her childhood here visiting this place. So it's very memorable for her. Choban actually means waterfall and Rondo is a widow. So Choban Rondo is widow waterfall. The reason this place is named like that is because of the legendary story of a newly wed couple. The bride's name was Dewi Anjarwati and the groom's name was Radin Baron Kusuma. After 36 days of marriage, Dewi Anjarwati invited her husband Radin Baron to visit Anjasmoro Mountain. But the parents of Dewi didn't want them to go since their marriage was only 36 days ago. On the way to the mountain, they met Joko Lelono, and he really liked Dewi Anjarwati, which led to a fight that couldn't be avoided between Radin Baron and Joko Lelono. During the fight, Dewi hides at the waterfall. Both Radin Baron and Joko Lelono died during the fight. So Dewi became a widow, and they believed the big stone under the waterfall is where Dewi was sitting and waiting for her husband. That's why the waterfall is called Choban Rondo, or Widow Waterfall. Interesting story. That's probably the place where she sat down. The water is very misty from the top. As I dip my feet in, the water was cold but felt very fresh.
Over here you'll find a lot of monkeys like the monkeys hanging out on the top of those cars. The monkeys are wild and will take your food if you're not careful. But they don't bite at humans. Some people even get close and give them food. Some people say that they like fried food, like fried bananas or fried tempeh. There are baby monkeys too. It feels pretty cool to be this close to nature and other living things. Now that we've worked up an appetite, let's head to a one-of-a-kind dining experience at a place that is Japanese themed right here in Indonesia. Indulge your taste buds with this authentic Japanese cuisine that will transport you straight to the land of the rising sun. Savor the delectable flavors of beef katsu, the comforting warmth of rice, and goodness of other Japanese food. Each bite is a symphony of flavors that will leave you wanting more. The unique ambiance surrounded by traditional Japanese decor and music. The attention to detail will make you feel like you've traveled to Japan without leaving Indonesia. <laughs> Is it good? From the awe-inspiring Choban Rondo to the culinary delights of Japanese cuisine, this adventure is truly unbelievable. If you want to know more about our adventure, please check our other videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more thrilling adventures. Until next time, thanks for joining us on this incredible journey. <laughs>